Are you going on holiday this summer and you're worried about the possibility of a deep vein thrombosis or DVT in your leg? If you are, then this video will show you how to prevent it. My name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm going to be showing you one simple exercise you can use on the plane to help prevent a blood clot or a DVT in your leg. Now, before we dive into the content of the video, if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so you'll be the first to hear about our new releases. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about what a DVT is and how to prevent it. So a DVT is basically a clot that forms in your leg when you've been sitting for a very long time. Now, clots are more likely to form on an aeroplane because of the density of the air, combined with the fact that on a long flight, we might be sitting still for hours at a time. Put simply, this is a really bad combination and it can cause the red blood cells and the clotting factors within your blood to start to merge together and form a hard clot in one of the veins in your lower leg. Now, when it's in the leg, it can be painful, it can cause swelling, it can cause redness, but the major problems come if that clot is dislodged. If the clot gets dislodged, it can travel up through the leg to the center of the body, and then who knows where it could end up. It could end up in the heart and cause a heart attack. It could end up in the lungs and cause a, cause a pulmonary embolism. It could end up in the brain and cause a stroke. So basically it's an incredibly serious problem that we must do everything in our power to prevent. Now, before I sh show you the exercise I'm gonna give you, the best way you can prevent clots is to stand up and walk around on the aeroplane. Now, this video is gonna show you an exercise if you can't do that, but if you do get a chance to stand up and walk around on the plane, it's the best way to prevent a DVT. Now, most of the time a DVT happens in the calf. So anything we can do to contract the calf will help to prevent it. This is because when we contract the calf, every muscle contraction pushes blood up through the leg, back through the veins and towards the heart, which is where it should be. It shouldn't be allowed to stay in the leg for too long. And because of the effects of gravity, blood goes to the lowest point in the body, which is why we can get swelling in the feet and the calf when we're on the plane. And because our calves aren't contracting, the blood just stays there, it doesn't return to the heart. So getting up and walking around can help to push the blood back up, which is a great thing to do. But now I'm gonna show you another exercise you can use on the plane if you can't get up out of your chair, but you still want to prevent a DVT. Here's a really simple exercise you can do on the plane to help prevent a DVT. Now, some flights are awkward and difficult to get up out of your chair. So obviously the gold standard thing to prevent a DVT is to get up and walk. But if you can't do that, here's a great exercise you can do in your seat, which will help to prevent a clot in your leg. Now it's really, really simple. All you're going to do is you're going to scoot forward in your plane seat to make sure that your feet are flat on the floor and you want your knees bent to about 90 degrees if possible. Now there's two different variations to this exercise, but both of them are doing one very important thing. They're getting the calf muscles to contract. So the simple version of this exercise is this. You're gonna go up onto tiptoes, really squeeze those calf muscles, and then very slowly let them come back down. And you basically wanna repeat this at least 25 to 30 times in a row. And the ideal number of times to do this would be once an hour if you can. Now, if you can do 30 of these with absolutely no problem at all, there's a way you can make this a little bit more challenging. And that is to lean forward with your hands on your knees and putting a little bit of pressure through your hands. And then you just repeat. So if you look at my upper body now, my upper body is staying stable and it's just my ankles doing the work and it's pushing the weight of my upper body too and my arms are pushing down on my legs. What this is doing is it's making the exercise harder so my calf muscles have to contract harder and every time they contract they're pumping the blood up through the leg back towards the heart 
which is where it needs to be. So that was the exercise that I would use on the plane to help prevent a DVT. I hope that's been useful for you if you go off on holidays this summer. I hope you have a great time and prevent uh, DVTs on the flights. Make sure to remember to stay active on the plane if you can, do some stretches, move around and use the exercise I've given you today. That's all I have for you today. I really appreciate your time. And if you haven't already, please pick up a copy of my book if you want more from me. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it using the link below this video. Have a wonderful holiday if you go away and I look forward to speaking to you on the next video.